Hi, I'm Gregor and I'm back with another refactoring video. I'm back in the coffee machine code in the model and I want to take a look at the update costs method of the model, which is this one. As you can see, it has a lot of indentation. It is indented one, two, three, four times already. Now, if you see a method like this, one that has like more than two indentations, it should really ring your bells. There is just too much going on. For this method, let's see what is going on. First, it is looping over the drink list. So this should be a drink. Let's name it after what it is. So I do not have to jump back to the loop header and see what it is when reading the code. And for each drink it is setting a cost. Let's make this a little bit shorter. And then it is grabbing the receipt of uh, the recipe of a drink. which is a map of string and int. So the string is the ingredient that is needed, the, the, the name of the ingredient, and the int is how many items the recipe needs from this ingredient. And it loops over the ingredients. So I will also rename this and checks in the, reci in the recipe First of all, if it uh, contains the ingredient, so this means that this recipe needs the ingredient, then it calculates the cost by getting the cost of the ingredient times the amount that it is needed in the recipe. And in the end, it is setting this cost to, what is this? It is setting it to the total cost field. This is a derived field. It is zero and it is only updated when you invoke the update costs method. So what is if you change the recipe or if you change some ingredient, but you forget to, to invoke the update costs method, then this value will be wrong. This makes everything much more complicated. You could also argue that this is just a cache. First you, first you calculate the cost using the update costs method and then set the result to the cache. And then whoever needs to read the cost doesn't have to do the calculation they can instead read the field, the cache, instead of doing the calculation. So yes, this is better in terms of performance, but it, it, it's really creating much more problems than it solves. Also, there is not really a performance problem in this application, so why, why optimize it? Uh, so I, I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of this cache. Also, when I get rid of this cache, I don't have to retain this set cost and get cost method. I, I can just remove them. And I don't want getters and setters. I want my, my objects to contain behaviors, not getters and setters. Getters and setters are no behavior. They indicate that this is just data. I don't want my objects to be data. I want them to be to have behavior. All right. So let's let's refactor this code. Make it less com complicated. This is doing, as I said, the calculation of the cost. So I can extract this. Let's start with that. This is the cost. The cost of a drink. So if it is the cost of a drink. I would rather move it 
to the drink, right? So the drink should know its cost. So let's move it to the drink. Now that I've moved it to the drink, I need to access the ingredient list. The ingredient list is a field of the model. I don't want the drink to have a dependency on the model. I would rather pass it the ingredient list. So to fix this, I will extract this list as a parameter. Okay, this is the extract parameter refactoring. And now that I have extracted this as a parameter, the model is gone. You see that the model is not anymore a dependency of the drink. The cost now only depends on the list. Fair enough. It, it needs the ingredient because the ingredient has a price. So, so it needs the ingredient list to calculate its price. That's fair. Um, this is a little bit tough to read. I think, yeah, this is this is replaceable with uh, with with stream and sum. Maybe it makes it a little bit easier to read. Let's see. So it streams over the ingredient lists. It filters all the ingredients that are needed, and then it calculates. For each ingredient, its price with the amount, and then sums him up, sums it up, and this is then the cost. So I can inline the cost, or so the drink owns the recipe. So I don't need to access this getter. I think I should even be able to remove the, the get recipe because maybe no one else uses it. Let's see. Yes, it did work. So I already got rid of a getter. If I get rid of a getter or a setter, I'm always happy because my code got a little bit more object oriented, has less coupling and a higher cohesion. That's always good. Um, This I can also inline. And let's see if this is now readable enough. Recipe contains key ingredient name. Yeah, I think that there is a recipe class uh, that is missing. The recipe should probably be a value object and have the methods uh, that do this and this, but just with a better name and less verbose verbose so so you can much easier read it and to encapsulate these behaviors but for now i don't have this value object so i will just leave it back to the model now we have extracted this cost method we have moved it and i can inline this but wait, this is the update cost method. Now that I have made this cost method, I think I can get rid of the update cost method. Yeah, but, but first I have to make sure that whoever was using this cached field will now use the calculation. So let's go to the drink. and see who is using the get cost. So the few is using the get cost. The few should be using the ingredient list instead. And it is good that it already has access to the ingredient list, so I don't have a problem replacing it here. 
This is really straightforward for me. Now you can see the get cost is not used anymore. I can delete it. Also, I think I should be able to remove this update costs in the model. And if I run the tests now, everything is green. So we, we didn't change the behavior of the application. What else can I remove? I can remove the total cost. No one is using it anymore. I can, rem where is the update costs? There it is. No one is using it anymore, right? So this is also not used anymore. I can delete it, right? Run the tests. We're in the green. So is there any problem left? Just a typo. Pause. Now, if we now check the diff, we are using the, the cost function here instead of the getter. The cached or the temporary field is now gone. Also, the set cost is gone, the get cost is gone, and the get recipe is gone. All the getters and setters are gone. And there is a cost method. And on the model, yeah, the update costs is gone. And this big block, the update costs is gone, completely gone. I'm already happy with that. This is one step closer to better design. There is still much left to be done, but for this video, I think it's enough. I'm Gregor, see you next time.